Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, baby. We gonna run it back. I got the Seriously shirt out once again. What my man said, once again. Return of the Mac. Once again, I got the Seriously shirt out once again. We gonna, we gonna sit here and talk about it, man. We gonna talk about it. Cause I, 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 I been on this. I've been on, I, I've been, I've been, I've been, man. I've been. Again, when everybody was scared of my, of my dog, I'm like, y'all tripping. Sugar is the shit. I'm sorry, I'm going to be cussing on this one because I'm just being me. I'm, I'm like, this is too easy. People be like, dog. You be spitting or, or, you know what I'm saying? People be comment. I be seeing y'all comments. I'm going to respond to them. I'm just dealing with a little bit of life right now. And I'm going to get to it. I literally, I see them all. And I make a note that I'm just going to reply to it when I get that minute, when I get that pocket, when I get that shot. But I be seeing comments. People be like, oh, I appreciate how much you love sugar so much. And you be fanning sugar so much. It's honestly, y'all. It's, 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 it's not even fanning to me. It's dead ass just me being myself. That's all it is. The only, the only difference between me and somebody else is I'm not playing these little games. I got it figured out. I got it figured sugar is my guy. I got it figured out. That's the only difference. Between me and somebody else, I got, I got that figured out. He's my guy. I'm not fucking debating this with nobody. I don't need to debate this with nobody. I've already known this. In fact, I got, yeah, we gonna get some popcorn, y'all. We gonna, we gonna talk, man. We gonna talk. We gonna talk. We gonna talk. Grab some popcorn, man. Because I, I, I got a philosophy in life that we don't get to choose what we like and what we love. It's already in us. You know how people, you know, people be saying that quote, get out your own way. I think that's what they're talking about. Get out your own way for me to deny that I don't like and appreciate sugar is me getting in my own way. I got it figured out. That's how I'm, that's why I go so hard on this shit. Look at my channel. The first, it, the first BTS content I ever did was who? Who? If I'm not mistaken, it was the My Universe Who remix. I didn't even react to the original song. I did the whole remix and watch that video and you see how hard I'm going for who? Jesus. So I got this theory that we, we, we don't get to pick what we like, what we love. It's, it's already in us. It's just a game of figuring out. When I started to listen to BTS songs that immediately stuck out to me, immediately stuck out to me in no particular order. Let me know. First love shadow. And what's the other damn song? Let me know. First love. Shadow. Oh, and Seesaw. Just a few songs that immediately stuck out to me. John Cook, uh, 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 My Time too. Oh my God in heaven. That freaking song. I, I, that shit is just goddamn. But those songs immediately stuck out to me. I realized later over time, let me know was not only written, but produce by who? First love was not only written, but produce, and there's a solo by who? Seesaw is not only written, but produce, and there's a solo by who?
I had figured that out later. I thought it was a group song. I thought with the background vocals that, that, that Adora is doing, I thought that was Jimin. I thought that was Jimin. Shadow. That's the most recent one. I thought that was a group song. I thought that was RM on the first verse. Or J-Hope. I knew it was Sugar on the second one. But I, I, I thought that. I know, I thought it was J-Hope on the hook and RM on the first verse. I later found out that it's a solo by who? So yeah, man, I got this philosophy. We we don't get to choose what we... Well, look, look at that. Sonic the Hedgehog. Look at that. Looking beautiful. On my damn wall. I can't help it. I, I freaking love it. I freaking love it. Let me, let me show you. I told y'all, get some popcorn. We talking. Another one. I got another one right here. And there's more here and there. More here and there. What do we got? Let me. The Legend of Zelda. On my wall. The newest one. The Legend of Zelda. Tears of the Kingdom. I can't, can't help it. It's who I am. I got it figured out. The only difference between me and everybody else is I'm not fighting it. If I love it, I love it. And please, no, please, for the love of God, no spoilers in my comments on Tears of the Kingdom. Not at least till 10 months after this video come out, because I beat the game by then. Come on, man. Come on, man. So, th th this is why I'm able to spill so much on these videos, especially when I'm talking about sugar. It's because I got it figured out. That's my guy. That been my guy. I'm not surprised at none of this shit. Because I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Once I had it figured out. I knew it. Sugar's the shit. You know, I seen this cool clip on Twitter. Where this guy was like, yo. Beyonce ain't have this line like this. Respectfully. Lil Durk ain't have this line like this. Respectfully. Hey y'all, so Beyonce ain't had his line like this. No, Lil Durk ain't had his line like this. I gotta find out who this nigga is. I gotta find out who this nigga is. It's Sugar of BTS, produced by Sugar of BTS. This is not surprising to me. I knew this. I knew this. The only difference is I just happen to be. And this is a fact. I know this. I, I just happen to be a little ahead of society. Society just haven't figured it out yet. We know. We know. It's sugar. Stop playing with yourself, man. It's sugar. No other artist. No other rapper. There's a fucking chance. This is what the guy does. He's talented and he's gifted. Yo, I can't think of homegirl name off the top of my head, but she left this long, I might pin it. She left this long comment about what the meaning of Higgum is and how deep it goes. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I knew it on the level of spiritual. That's another thing. I'm a spiritual person. I can't help it. You see that? That's spiritual. On my wall. You see that? That's spiritual. On my wall. I can't help it. Anyway, we got that point. So, I understood it on a spiritual level because I'm very spiritual. I know the language. I get it. it I get it. I could talk that shit all day. I'm a spiritual nerd, to be honest with you. I'm very spiritual. So, my reaction, I advise you to check it out. My detailed reaction to Higgum. Matter of fact, I'm going to do the one for amygdala amygdala whatever the fuck you want to call it i gotta upload that i gotta get to it it's just taking me time because i'm human dealing with some human things dealing with some life blah 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 i'm gonna get to it <clears throat> so but i'm talking about it on a spiritual level of him you know shedding his past you know and and evolving he's enlightened he's letting go of the past you know, that's why he burnt the money and the old him didn't like that. You know, notice when you watch that, that, that video, when he's going against the old him, it was all fun and games until the future him threw the cigarette and burned the money. 
And that's when the old him got mad as fuck and, and started to do all that shit, trying to kill him and drown him and all that. Because that was the old him who loved all that. Anyway, it's it's a beautiful video. I suggest you watch it. You can also check out my playlist on Sugar. Because there's quite a number of videos. I do BTS con other members here and there. In fact, I actually got a reaction to Jimin Like Crazy, which is a crazy song. Oh, my God. I just got to chop it up and get it out to you. But I did a reaction to it. It's a beautiful song. I freaking love it. But anyway, I'm just dealing with some life. I got to get to it. But, <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm talking about it on a spiritual level. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, all of this, he's shedding the old past. He's growing. He's letting that go. He's balanced, blah, blah, blah. This girl just wrote this deep thing. <clears throat> to be honest with you, I haven't even read the whole thing. I read some of it. And it just opened my eyes to how much deeper Higgum is. Like, this is, this is probably the biggest thing I love about BTS. Their content goes so deep. It goes so deep. One of the biggest examples I always make, but well, oh, we know, Army, we know their shit is deep. In fact, I feel like that's why they connect so much with so much people. We know that. But one of the biggest examples I make is the song Tear, where they're literally talking about how they was on the verge of breaking up and they produced a song. I think Sugar produced that too. Oh, no, no. I think it's like three of them that's in the production on that. And there, and, and, and first of all, when you hear the song, okay, the freaking emotion, the freaking beat, the freaking, the strings and the chords and the notes and how deep and emotional it is and how incredible the song is. And then you later find out that, oh, they were talking about them on the verge of breaking up and just running through their emotions and got the fucking audacity to name the song tear come on man come on man just stop it stop it this is why i don't have these conversations with people no more i don't have these conversations y'all mind me man my 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 hair is so ladies y'all got i got so much respect for y'all because my hair is so messed up right now. This shit is twisted, is matted, is knotted, and it's going to be a project to get it back on board. I just put something over my head, toss the hat on, and I go about my business. I don't know how y'all just spend so much time in, in, in doing yourself up so much. Like, just not even just the time, but the energy. That goes into that. And then for you to be out and about and just represent that so well, you don't show any strain, any stress. I mean, I know sometimes with the heels, y'all take them shits off and y'all be like, no, fuck this. My feet is killing me. I get that. But for the most part, y'all don't publicly show how much strain and energy draining it takes to do yourself up like you know sometimes i don't even i told y'all get some popcorn we talking you know sometimes i i don't even like to dress up so much i'm a very nonchalant casual person though know, i got a lot of nice shit sometimes i don't even like to dress up so much because it just lets off this energy and I just don't be in the mood for that all the time. Like, literally, I just come home and I just take it all off. And I just feel the energy just release from me. And I just be like, oh, my God, I feel so good to be relaxed. And y'all do this shit like every day. I got respect for y'all. Seriously. I got some seriously respect for y'all. But anyway, where the hell I was going, man? <laughs> but yeah, so when Homegirl wrote that passage about Higgum, and how deep it really is. I'm like, yo, this this guy is just gifted. Like this this probably just comes so easy to him. He's probably just being himself and it's just naturally this deep, this nasty. You want to know something else I noticed about the Higgum video? I did I I I, I caught on to way later. It's not even in any of my original reaction or my detailed reaction video. When he first walked in that complex with the people behind him, do you realize it's seven of them walking in there? I haven't heard nobody mention this. I haven't heard nobody mention this. It's seven of them that walk into that complex. Come on, man. 
Come on, man. So this this is not up for debate. That's the only reason why y'all y'all fuck with my sugar content. Y'all fuck with me and how much I fuck with sugar. It's because I got that figured out. It's not up for debate. It's not up for debate. It's not up for debate. He's the one. He's the one to be honest with you. He is realistically the first person, the first person who is in my mind posing a serious threat to where I rank, you know, the list of the greatest rappers of all time, blah, blah, blah. The best rappers of all time, blah, blah, blah. To be honest with you, number one on my list is Lil Wayne. It's, 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 there's people who know that Lil Wayne is the best rapper of all time. And there's people who've yet to figure out that Lil Wayne is the best rapper of all time. Sugar's a little different. He's more on the artist, the genius, the brilliant side. But besides that, Sugar is the only person that's posing a serious threat to that shit in my mind. To be honest with you, not just Sugar, man. BTS, period. Yo. I'm starting to catch on to Jimin too, yo. Jimin is low key as fuck. A mini sugar. If anybody have already been in tune with that, please drop a comment and put me up on game. Cause I'm starting to catch on to his little ass. Okay. He is low key a, a genius producer too. I made a video talking about how one of his songs with number one, I think it was Friends. I think that was the name of it. And then you listen to that song. I'm like, okay, Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy. I see you. I see you. Like crazy. I see you. When I heard like crazy, that really solidified it. I'm like, all right, dog. I fucking see you, dog. I see you. Jimmy is low key. A mini Yongi. Maybe that's why they freaking connected the way they connected with. Because Sugar Ben peeped that. Don't sleep on that little dude. He still... He still, I, I think I talk about this in my like crazy reaction. He not even in his prime yet. He still just, just have, it's, it's just this certain degree that hasn't been unlocked yet. And he's already just ridiculous. But when it clicks, oh, forget about it. Forget about it. Protect your daughters. Guard your face. It's, 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 it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Anyway, anyway, I'm starting to trail on a little bit. Man, congratulations to you, Master Yongi, once again. First rapper. I haven't even said what the video is about, man. We just had to talk about it. To gross three mil. Oh, to make three mil. Over a span of three of three mil a day for three shows. Like, yeah, that's nine million in three days what is wrong with people who still deny this power this greatness what is wrong with people that's another thing that allows me to just talk about this in the way i talk about it is is i can humble myself to saying hey you got it dog hey man go you got it dog you got it dog you got it, dog. I know I got a little something because I've been figured this out and I'm still working on that. You know what I'm saying? I went through a little bit more trauma than he did. So I'm a little bit more behind the ball than he is. But I'm, I'm working on my own greatness because I know something that's in there too because I just got a way of picking winners. Legend of Zelda, first time I saw it, I knew it is not even questionable. Sugar, I just did a 20-minute video talking about that. Bone Thugs and Harmony is something else. First time I ever heard Bone Thugs and Harmony, I just instantly knew I'm home. I'm home. I could have heard that shit 200 years from now. And if I was the same person with the same tools that God gave me, I'm home. I'm home. I just know. And go figure, they're still one of the standing legendary rappers that was in that era still one of the standing legend first time i heard it i just knew this is it stop playing with yourself this is it so anyway man come on man beyonce hasn't done that i well i don't know i'm not even gonna say that but no other rapper has done that and that's another thing that i'm going all in on 
we're 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 not talking about bts being k-pop or korean or any of that bullshit no more they're fucking artists okay i got that figured out too okay i got that figured out too i ain't debating that is that's not up for debate it's not up for debate they're artists they're great artists every last one of them go listen to j-hope equal sign stop playing with yourself Stop playing with yourself. Go listen to RM Wildflower. Stop playing with yourself. Go listen to Jimin Like Crazy or Friends that he produced. Stop playing with yourself. Anyway, I digress. Shout out to Master Yonggi. I ain't surprised one bit because I already knew. I already knew. Sugar is the shit.